Okay, here we're going to look at adjusting entries. Adjusting entries are the adjustments that we have to make to our revenue and expense accounts here on the balance sheet such that we uh, match the income and expenditures to the period in which they actually occurred and for the correct amount. And that is based on the accrual accounting. And then we take those uh, correct amounts here that we have for our revenue and expenses and then we recognize them here as revenue and expenses on our income statement. Okay, our adjusting entries can be classified into four different types. Our liabilities here in the balance sheet would be unearned revenues and our accounts payable. For our assets here in the balance sheet, we'd be looking at our accounts receivable and our inventory or prepaid expenses. We also have a fifth class and that would be our depreciation or an amortization type accounts. Now, these adjusting entries here are the adjustments that we're making here on our balance sheet accounts that would be realized as revenue and expenses here on our income statement. Now, any changes here in our cash wouldn't be included in these adjusting entries because that cash may be coming in at different times. And what we're different times than what we're trying to allocate here as our revenue expenses. And what we're doing here is we're taking these revenue and expense accounts and converting them to the accrual accounting system. Okay, let's look at how these accounts work. For unearned revenue, this is where you'd receive a cash payment prior to earning any of the revenue. And then when we do earn this revenue, then we'd recognize it here on the income statement. Now for our accounts payable, this is where we'd incur an expense or purchase something on credit prior to making any cash payments. So when we incur this expense, then we'd recognize it here as an expense on the income statement. Now for our accounts receivable, this is where we'd make a sale or we'd earn some revenue prior to receiving any cash payments. So at the time that we make this sale or earn this revenue, then we'd recognize it here on the income statement. Now for our inventory and our prepaid expenses, this is where we'd make a cash payment prior to any of the use of this inventory. So when we make this cash payment here, we would recognize it here in our cash account. And then when we actually use the inventory or use the prepaid expense, then we'd recognize it here as an expense on our income statement. I'm going to be going through a few examples here for adjusting entries. And by definition, when we're looking at our account, our preliminary balance in that account, that's based on our accounting records for the period that do not include the proper allocation of revenue or expense. Now, our correct balance, that's where we went through our accounting records and we determined what the correct allocation should be for either that revenue or expense. Okay, let's look at how we'd apply these adjusting entries. And the first thing we do is set up uh, T accounts for our revenue and expense accounts here on the balance sheet and also on our income statement. So let's look at the example here of our accounts receivable here on our balance sheet. So the first thing you have to determine is what the ending balance should be in the account. And that would be our correct balance. So, and then the second thing you have to do is determine what adjustments you have to make. So to determine this adjustment here, we take our preliminary balance, in this case it was $50,000 here on our debit to accounts receivable, and our correct balance should have been $54,000. So we know that we have to make an adjusting entry here by increasing our accounts receivable by $4,000. So uh, the $4,000 plus the $50,000 that would the preliminary balance would be equal to $54,000 or our correct balance. Now when we made this adjustment here to our accounts receivable, we also have to have the same adjustment here on our income statement and that would be to our revenue account. So our debit to accounts receivable here of $4,000, we'd have to credit or increase our revenue for $4,000. So if we had a preliminary balance here of $150,000 in our revenue account and you add to it this increase here of $4,000 adjusting entry, we would have $154,000 in our revenue account. So to make these adjustment entries, you have to make the adjustment here on your balance sheet to uh, whatever revenue or expense account that it represented. And then the same adjustment have to be made here on your income statement to the appropriate revenue or expense account. Okay, let's look at an adjusting entry to our accounts payable. 
Our correct balance at the end of the period should be $12,000. Preliminary balance was $15,000. So we have to make an adjusting entry, and that would be to reduce our accounts payable here by $3,000. So uh, $15,000 credit less the $3,000 debit here in accounts payable equals our correct balance here of $12,000. So when we made this adjusting entry here on our balance sheet to our accounts payable for $3,000, the debit amount here, we have to have the same adjusting entry here on our income statement. So in this case, we'd credit or reduce our expenses by $3,000. The credit here of $3,000 balances here with the debit of uh, $3,000 here in our accounts payable. So our new balance here in an expense account would be, say, the beginning balance here or preliminary balance was $60,000 less the $3,000 here reduction in our expenses. The new balance here would be $57,000. So we made this adjusting entry here on our balance sheet to accounts payable. We decreased it by $3,000 or debited it for $3,000. Well, we had to have a balancing adjusting entry here on our income statement, and that would have been to credit or reduce our expenses for $3,000. Okay, let's look at an adjustment to inventory. For the year we uh, we're, we charged off $10,000 worth of inventory, so we credit or reduce our inventory for $10,000, and then we debit or increase our expenses for that amount. And then we did an end-of-the-year count for our inventory, and we determined that we actually had $500 worth more inventory than what we originally estimated. So we'd debit or increase our inventory for $500, and then we'd credit or reduce our expenses for $500. So we reduced our expense here from $10,000 less the $500 here credit, and then our total expense here would have been $9,500 for the inventory. And then we also adjusted our inventory account here uh, by increased it for $500. So in both cases, we made an adjusting entries here to our inventory inventory account. And the adjusting entry here in our asset or inventory balances with any adjusting entries here in our expense and net income. We have another group of accounts that have to be adjusted for our revenue and expenses on our income statement. And those would be our contra accounts. And now those contra accounts offset the balance in a related account. And they would be like our depreciation, depletion, our allowance for bad debts, and doubtful uh, accounts and then our premium and discounts here on bonds and notes payable that have to be amortized. And then we'd also remember that we have our interest receivable and interest payable on our bonds and notes. And each of these have to be calculated and then they have to be applied to the revenue and expense that they represent on the income statement. All right, to summarize on how we calculated our adjusting entry, the first thing we had to do is to determine what the correct balance should be at the end of the period or the end of the year for the, our account. Then we looked at the preliminary balance that was in the account, and then what the difference here would have been our adjusting entry, the difference between the preliminary balance and the correct balance. And then any uh, adjusting entries here we made on the balance sheet had to be balanced with a revenue and expense account here on the income statement.